بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کائنڈلی لائک شیئر اینڈ سبسکرائب لا ایجوکیٹم ٹوڈے ان بیولوجی وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا بیسک ٹرمینالوجی ریلیٹڈ ٹو انسائنس میٹابولزم دا سم آف آل کیمیکل ریئیکشنز گوئنگ آن ود ان دا سیل از کالڈ میٹابولزم ایز وی نو دیٹ دا بیسک یونٹ آف لیونگ تھنگس آر سیلس and there are many chemical reactions occurring in the cells for example digestion respiration excretion etc so the sum of all these chemical reactions which are going inside a cell are called metabolism metabolism are of two type anabolism anabolism are the reactions which use energy to make complex molecules from simpler molecules they are called anabolic reactions or anabolism so in the anabolism complex molecules are formed from simpler molecules simple molecules join and they form complex molecules and by the use of energy for example in the process of photosynthesis plants take carbon dioxide from the air water from the soil and uses energy from the sunlight to form a complex molecule that is known as glucose in this process simpler molecules combine and they form complex molecule and energy is used in this process so this process is also known as building up process because larger molecules are built up catabolism Reactions which break down complex molecules into simpler molecules are, and release energy are called catabolic reaction or catabolism. Basically, this is the opposite of anabolism. In these chemical reactions, larger molecules are broken down and energy is produced or released. Example is the process of respiration. In the respiration, in the respiration, the larger molecule that is glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water and in this process energy is released in the form of heat so this is a catabolic reaction this is also known as breaking down reaction because in this reaction larger molecules are broken down into smaller molecules catalyst catalysts are the chemicals which speed up chemical reactions chemical reactions occurring on a specific speed but a specific chemicals are used to speed up those chemical reaction known as catalyst enzymes enzymes are the biological catalyst which speed up chemical reactions in living things so these are the biological catalyst and they are called biological catalyst because they speed up chemical reactions in living things substrate are the molecules at which enzyme act the molecules these are the molecules of basically protein fats or carbohydrates those are the substrate and the molecules on which the enzyme act those molecules are known as substrate molecule active site the small part of enzyme where substrate molecules bind and undergo a chemical reaction is known as active site so active site is basically that small part of the enzyme where the substrate molecules attaches during a chemical reaction activation energy Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for an effective chemical reaction to start. So, for starting a chemical reaction, every chemical reaction needs energy. And the minimum amount of energy which is required to start a chemical reaction is called activation energy of that chemical reaction. Co-factor Enzymes need some non-protein molecules or ions for activity. For performing their activity, they also need some 
नॉन प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स और आयंस एंजाइम्स आर बेसिकली प्रोटीन्स बट इट आल्सो नीड्स आयंस और नॉन प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स नोन एज को फैक्टर्स को फैक्टर्स आर बेसिकली ऑफ थ्री टाइप को एंजाइम द ऑर्गेनिक को फैक्टर ऑफ एंजाइम दैट आर लूजली अटैच विद एंजाइम्स आर नोन एज को एंजाइम्स दे आर ऑर्गेनिक को फैक्टर्स मीन्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ कार्बन एंड दे आर लूजली अटैच विद द एंजाइम एग्जाम्पल्स आर एन ए डी को एंजाइम ए एंड वाइटामिन ए प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रोथ इफ को फैक्टर इज टाइटली बाउंड टू एंजाइम इट इज कॉल्ड प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रोप एंड दे आर ऑर्गेनिक मालिक्यूल इजी हाइम ग्रोप प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रोप इज ऑल्सो ऑर्गेनिक मीन्स इट इज मेड अप ऑफ कार्बन एंड इट इज टाइटली बाउंड टू एंजाइम सो इफ को फैक्टर इज लूजली बाउंड टू एंजाइम इट इज कॉल्ड को एंजाइम एंड इफ इट इज टाइटली बाउंड टू एंजाइम देन इट इज कॉल्ड प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रोप third type is activators many enzyme require iron such as zinc iron copper and chloride for their activation example activity of amylase increased by chloride amylase is an enzyme and its activity is speed up when chloride is added to it so chloride act as an activator optimum temperature the temperature at which an enzyme works at its maximum this is the specific temperature at which at enzymes work at its maximum speed the optimum temperature of human enzyme is 36 to 38 degrees centigrade optimum ph All enzyme work at their maximum rate at a narrow range of range of pH called the optimum pH. Different enzymes works on different pH. For example, pepsin that is present in the stomach always act in acidic medium. So HCl is present in our stomach while the enzyme present in our intestine work in alkaline medium so the optimum ph is that ph at which the enzyme work at its maximum rate denaturation when temperature is raised above the optimum temperature the heat energy increases the vibration of the atoms of enzymes and the globular structure of enzyme is lost this is known as denaturation we have already studied about the optimum temperature so when the temperature increases from optimum temperature due to increase in temperature the movement of molecule increases and due to that increasing movement the globular or globular means circular structure of enzyme is lost it's broken down and that process is known as denaturation Thank you.